Hi everybody, it's Dave from Projector People. I am back today to show off a very special projector. This is the BenQ HT 2550 4K UHD HDR projector. Let's take a look at it. Uh, so in front of me, I have the BenQ HT 2550 projector. Uh, as I mentioned, this is a 4K 4K, uh, for those of you that don't think that the DLP TI chip is, is actual 4K. Regardless, it makes 8.3 million pixels. It's extremely sharp, much better than 1080p by anyone's uh, specifications. And it is capable of HDR, HDR10. This is the sister or kind of side model to the TK800, which we reviewed a little while ago. The difference between the two is that, oh, besides their outwardly beautiful appearance, this is a charcoal gray front with a white uh, you know, design on the top, kind of blend in design. This is a little less bright, 2200 lumens. So we see 2200 lumen projectors, home theater projectors, specifically going into home theaters or dedicated areas where you can control the lighting. Um, this would be okay probably with some light, but you know, you don't want to put it in your living room where you have bright uh, sunshine coming in through the sliding glass doors or something like that. This is the winner of Projector Reviews Hot Product Award and the winner of Digital Trends Editor's Choice Award. So there are a lot of people that are looking at projectors daily that really like this projector, including us, as you will see in a few minutes when we take a look at it on the screen. Um, some other features about this projector before we take a look at the inputs and a look at it in action. As I mentioned, it's 2200 lumens, 10,001 contrast, so pretty decent contrast. This projector uh, fulfills 96% of the Rec. 709 color space. You may or may not care about that. If you are someone that's really uh, feels that color quality is an important factor when you're watching TV uh, versus brightness or uh, just the big image in general, then you'll appreciate that 96% Rec. 709. And it achieves that through the six segment color wheel, which is an RGB, RGB color wheel. It creates richer images, uh, a little bit better contrast at the you know, sacrifice of a little brightness. Uh, it has a 1.2 uh, times zoom. It's got kind of a, a tight throw range, I would say. The throw range, actually, let me take a look at it, is 1.47 to 176, 1.76 to 1. So that's a 100-inch image from around 10 and a half feet away. Uh, you can get a little bit bigger image. Uh, you go back a little bit farther. Um, but so that's kind of what you need to look at if you're going to put this in a dedicated room. If you're looking for something that's going to fit 20 feet away and create a 120 inch image on the wall, this probably isn't for you. It does have auto keystone. So keystone is something that's kind of like, eh. But if you're somebody that doesn't want to hassle about uh, you know, getting things perfect, as soon as you put this projector down, you aim it at the wall, whether it's off a little bit or not, it's going to correct the image and make it look perfectly straight, which is fantastic for a lot of people. Um, it's got a 4,000 hour lamp life out of the box. That's in full brightness. If you are really concerned about economy and you want to get the most out of the lamp life, it goes up to 10,000 hours in eco mode, but it does significantly reduce that uh, brightness level as well. So let's take a look at the inputs on the back. We'll take a look at the remote and then we'll see this thing in action. We are now taking a look at the top of the BenQ HT 2550. And as is the case in almost every projector, you have easy access to your menu buttons. So whether you've got it installed upside down or you have it just sitting on a table in your living room or in your, in this case, a dedicated home theater space, then you have easy access here to your source and your inputs and your menu. And then up here is my favorite part of all projectors, which is the nice flowing uh, zoom. This is 1.2 times zoom, as I mentioned and then your focus. We've got, uh, it's, it's pretty Spartan. So not a lot here, but you don't really need a lot. Uh, you've got your audio in, uh, and you've got your audio out, which you may want uh, if you have this in a dedicated home theater space. Though I will say, even though this is listed as a five watt uh, mono speaker, we were actually shocked at how good the TK800 uh, sounded, which is the exact same speaker. So I'm anticipating this one will sound just as good. So, um, which is good in case you want to do something portable with it or take it outside or to a party, whatever. And then you have your PC input. Uh, you have your dedicated 2.2 uh, uh, HDCP HDMI input. That's for your 4K content. For your standard HDMI content, your HD uh, content, you'll put that right there. Your mini USB, uh, which is probably for firmware. Your RS-232. And then you have a powered USB. 
So you could run a Fire Stick or a Roku or a Chromecast without having to plug that into a separate uh, plug. So that's fantastic. And then your 12 volt trigger, 12 volt trigger rather, for your screens. So that's a look at the back. Uh, one thing we don't really talk a lot about in our reviews, just because we don't want to get too deep, is remotes, because uh, it's a remote. But in this case, it's worth mentioning. BenQ always does a great job of their uh, user interactions uh, and their user experience, and the remote is no different. Um, it is a backlight remote, which is something you want if you have a projector, because your lights are generally off, so you want to see what's, what's on here. It does have access at, uh, to 3D, something I did not mention. The 3D is only for viewing 1080p content. Uh, none of the 4K projectors that use the TI chip do 3D and 4K, but that is a feature that a lot of people want. And then you have your keystone right there, uh, all your other options. You, this does have a dynamic iris, which we'll check out in a minute. There's your HDR. I know my fingers in the way. And then you have access to, uh, you know, calibration things, uh, your gamma, your sharpness. Uh, so everything you really need is right at the tip of your fingertips.